Now hearing at least 20 people are dead. Many more are in the hospital now. The shooting happened just this morning in El Paso at a shopping center on the city's east side. CBS 2's Tom Waite joins us live with the very latest information coming into the newsroom right now. Tom. And Chris and Sarah, so horrific. There were huge crowds in this shopping complex. Police say many of the folks were families out doing back to school shopping. That's when police say the gunman, possibly armed with an AK-47, began spraying them with gunfire. A horrific scene outside an El Paso Walmart. Dazed customers recorded the aftermath of a mass shooting. Dead bodies could be seen near cars. People gunned down as they loaded groceries and other items into their vehicles. Witnesses described the surreal carnage. I'm looking to see what's going on, and more people are coming in, and then I hear boom, 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 boom. We all run out of the McDonald's. I talked to another guy that said he saw somebody shot in the head, and another lady shot in the head, and her, and her head was like blown away. We were running from inside the mall to Dillard's, and they were just screaming to get out. That's when everybody started getting out. Then the store manager said for everybody to evacuate, so we had to get, we had to stay a little bit behind and get, make sure everybody was out. Then the police came in. And, and did they tell you anything? Did they give you any information? They just had to evacuate immediately. The estimates of the shoppers at Walmart were between one and 3,000 with 100 employees present. Uh, it is back to school and it, the Walmart was uh, at, at, at capacity when uh, the shootings uh, occurred. Terrified customers took cover. You can hear the shots ringing out. As the gunshots stopped, a haunting silence. The rampage began this morning at the shopping complex. CBS News confirms this is security camera footage of the shooter. As officers race to the scene, they say they were able to arrest him without further incident. We do have one person in custody. I can confirm that it is a white male in his 20s. CBS News sources say the gunman is 21-year-old Patrick Crucius, reportedly from Allen, Texas. Sources say he posted an online manifesto, which may point to a motive. In the manifesto, Crucius rants about the changing demographics of Texas and a plot by Democrats to conspire with immigrants. He also blasts the Republicans and corporations. He's now being questioned by police as investigators and families are only getting a sense of the unthinkable violence. I don't think there's any agency in the in the country that's prepared for something like this, but we do prepare for it and work our do our best to uh, make sure that these situations are handled uh, as best as possible. At first, police believed the gunman had an accomplice, but now they say they believe the killer acted alone. Chris, back to you. Yeah, just so heartbreaking. Tom, thank you. And just a